Hello and welcome. This is the first episode of a new series which I'll be uploading to YouTube on a regular basis. And this is in my own world, it's a single player world, which I've decided to call Punxsutawney. And that is after the film Groundhog's Day. Now, anybody who remembers Groundhog's Day, or Groundhog Day, um, they will know that when Bill Murray, the protagonist, dies, he wakes up in his bed, and that sort of put me in mind of Minecraft. So whenever I die, I wake up in my bed, and everything's fine, and I just go about my life again, which I thought would be great. So, welcome to Punks Tony. This is an introduction video. So, the I'm just going to show you around, really, and give you an idea of what I'm doing and where I'm at. So, let's just switch views and have a little look. So, first things first, I'm going to run over here, because this is where my bed is, and I can sleep away the night quickly, and show you the mob grinder. Um, this is a mob grinder that I very recently built, and it basically doesn't work. I wanted to set up a flushing system so they'd all get flushed to the center and drop down. I didn't have enough um, string to make the dispensers, so I thought I'd try something else which I'd tried in previous versions of Minecraft. And that is just rubbish. I mean, let's have a little look. Yeah, I mean, look, I'm, I'm getting stuff, but it's pretty pathetic. When I've built this previously, you'd stand here and they'd just be pouring down. Um, so I've got some work to do on that. That's one of my first things. Um, yeah, a lot of this introduction is going to be about what I'd like to do in the upcoming episodes. And the idea is each episode I'll have an objective and I'll work on that objective in the episode. And sort of give you the results at the end. This is going to be one of those episodes, though not today don't have enough time today um, so that's the mob grinder over here you can probably get the idea for it oh there we go growing up on queue so this is my steak and leather farm and they're making a lot of noise steak and leather farm so I've got my cedar cows up there I feed them up they pop over they land on the hoppers and when they grow up they get burnt and drop their steak and leather I'll just show you that now a little bit more closely. So when I pop the button there, it switches the mode. So you get the water coming down. And when I switch it back, there we go. The only problem is at the moment, I haven't got the redstone set up exactly how I'd like it. Um, because I need slime. And I haven't got any slime yet. I haven't found myself a slime chunk. Got lots to do in that direction. Um, but so far, I'm just sort of using it manually like this and, you know, having to mess about with the trapdoor every time. And it's working okay. It's fine. It's fine. I'm getting good drops. So down here, I've got my little enchanting setup. Again, very early game setup. I've got my nether portal. I've been through to the nether. I, I, actually, saw, I actually looked for this place before I settled down. I was looking for a desert. Um, because I've got a big project in mind, which um, I'll be introduced in a later episode. And I wanted a desert. And I came down here, set myself up a nether portal. And right on the other side of the nether portal is another fortress. It is amazing. This is a really good location. Now, out in the sea there somewhere, I've got a guardian farm. Oh, oh, well, I've got a guardian temple, I should say. I don't have a guardian farm just yet, but I've got a guardian temple, which I will be working on. Over there somewhere, I've got a witch's hut, which I'll be working on. I've got a village and a uh, and a desert temple, that's right, over in that direction. Um, so I've got lots of things on hand, which I definitely want to work on. One thing which I want to do in this series as well is get the whole villager trading thing set up. Do the whole trading thing for all the books, the lot. Got myself a few chickens here. I'm not really doing anything with them much at the moment. Just getting them to produce eggs and saving the eggs. I'll probably kill this lot in the not too distant future and, you know, just keep the eggs for now until I've worked out why I want chickens. Um, yeah. Now, this is a pretty ugly thing, but this is my sugarcane farm. For now, it's just getting me sugarcane. That's all I want it to do. Give me sugarcane. So if we have a little look around the back, you can see the redstone there. Really simple repeater, repeater clock. Pulse generator thingy. And then just redstone going up over the top to cover the 
um, pistons so they pop in and out. In the fullness of time this will have a hopper clock and will be about six times as big at least, at least six times as efficient maybe and a lot prettier. So that's that side there. I've got a few chests here and a little sort of, you know, smelting setup. And again, that's going to be a smelting array, going to have somewhere where you just put in the fuel, put in your ores and output the goods. So that's uh, that's probably an early project which I can start work on pretty soon, which will be really, really nice to get that going. Um, up here, A very simple farm. So you plant out the seeds. When it's all grown, you flick the lever, bop. Everything gets washed down by some water sources at the back. You know, everyone's seen this a hundred times, but you know, this is what you have for your early game. So that gets washed forward to here, gets washed down here, and then into here. And I've got a nice little collection of things going on down there. So that's that working. And right, what else have we got? We don't have much to show really. Over here I've got my little entrance to the mine. Again, work in progress, lots to do. Just wanted to get down there and actually start getting some resources. So that's that. And that's basically everything that I've got right now. Like I say, got lots of plans. I want to knock back all of this sand area here. Um, soon I really want to go to the nether and get myself a little golden XP farm going up above the nether. And, you know, just everything. Everything to do at the moment. There's going to be a project on every single episode. The mob grinder, getting that fixed up, is going to be the first job to do, really. So... I hope you enjoyed the little introduction there and I hope to see you again in the not too distant future and we can sort of build all these things together. Well I hope you liked the little introduction to Punk Satoni. Um, like I say, I'm looking forward to working on this world. I've got a lot to do. I may be running some live streams for on here as well. Um, the issue with the live streams is I try and live stream regularly, but it's very dependent on my um, internet service provider and what they're providing me at that time. We oh, can't stand near the cows, they're a bit noisy. So, thank you very much, and we'll see you again soon.